Now in Canada, it's legal to hunt over bait, mm -hmm. and they use alfalfa hay. Right. And then it really helps the deer because it gets rough up there. I mean, it gets negative digits constantly and feet and feet of snow. So they kind of use these sources to make it through the winter on top of being a good spot to hunt. Oh, absolutely. Woody, that thing almost looks bigger than it did on camera. Look at the size of the body. I gotta make my gun safe. I love that acorn point. That thing is cool. I can't even believe it, Mikey. Good job, dude. Look at how heavy that is. I can't even get my finger around him. No. <laughs> I'm just speechless. I'm lying quiet as I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Look at that. Look at how heavy that thing that is. That is so... He is so palmated. Jeez, what? I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I've never... <laughs> Look at that. You done good. What did he go? 50 yards? 50 yards. Dead. Man, that's a bow shot right there. I mean, that's... To the recovery. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Saskadrenal Outfitters pulled it out for me, brother. I do some bear hunting with these guys, and... Um, this is my first whitetail hunt up here, and I tell you, if you want a great hunt, great food, great lodge, I never thought in the winter we'd have to deal with mosquitoes, but I was wrong. But when he came in, he, as you I can tell in the footage, he's all wrapped up in these smaller bucks for probably 10 or 15 minutes. Couldn't get a clean shot on him until those two smaller deer just finally just kind of edged off. But the good thing about that sometimes is when the deer gets like that and you can't get a shot real fast, it allows you a minute to kind of calm down and collect. Yeah, because my pulse rate had gone up. Because that <laughs> really had been that to my to date was you, the biggest buck. Never. Yeah, never, man. Never. Yeah, I was excited. I was real excited. Well, I mean, you get a mid 150 inch deer standing 100 yards away. If your heart ain't racing, you don't need to be out there deer hunting. That weighed 308 <laughs> pounds when we weighed him. I mean, he he was actually what kind of took us back is as you know the body mass up in Canada is just so big. So you get a 150 inch deer. You really kind of got, it doesn't look like 150 inch deer because it's just so distorted. Kind of like when me and you wear a hat. Yeah, like this right here. <laughs> there you go, these, see? 